In this video, we're gonna talk about the two day pattern that if you see it, you should pay attention. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. So this is a pattern that occurs over two days. It's one of my very, very favorite trading patterns. And you can see I'm getting excited because I'm shaking my hands like this. Okay, in all seriousness, this is a good pattern, guys. And I like the theory behind it. And let me explain it to you and why it works and kind of why if it happens, you kind of should pay attention whether you're going to trade it or whether you're in it or out of it or, or whatever it may be. So this is the pattern. Uh, let me pick a pen here. Okay, so we have um, this kind of scenario, right? We have um, a couple of days where the market's pushed up and then we get a good, solid, strong green day that breaks out of a key level. Now, this is important. There's got to be eyeballs on this. So we've either got this scenario here where we break above a key level or we have this scenario here. I'm going to put that as number two, put that as number one. Number two, where we gap up because of news. All right. Now, the point is the reason that we have to have that is that we have to have eyeballs on this because it only works when we've got volume, we've got participants, we've got people involved in the trade. OK, so in scenario one, we have a good push to a really key level that could be a multiple high, could be a whole number, could be a level that everyone's looking at. Great. We close the day at highs on the green. Maybe we shouldn't have much of a wick here. A solid, solid one's a bit better, but you get the point. The idea is that it's a nice, solid, decent candle as opposed to one uh, with a wick. I'm going to change that because that's what we really want to see. We want to see those big, solid bodies there. Closing at highs. Everyone's happy. Everyone's piled in. Wherever the break, uh, the, uh, 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 if I can speak properly, the breakout buyers have bought it here. The guys who have bought it here, everyone's happy. The next day we gap up, everyone is happy, all the balls are happy. Off we go to the races, we're going to rip up to highs. Bang, tables turn, supply demand shifts immediately. Wow, we take out highs and we smash through. The important thing is we smash through this prior day's low. That's the key level we're watching. Actually, that's the low there, isn't it? The key level we're watching is that prior day's low and we close below it. Boy, if you see that, you need to pay attention to this chart pattern because this is very, very likely to continue for a little bit longer because of that change in sentiment that's just caught out so many people. Same with point two. We've gapped up on news. Maybe it's earnings. Maybe it's something... Uh, bullish on the market. Who cares? Who knows? We're traders. We're not economists. The thing gaps up. It moves up. Closes at highs. Good volume. Everyone's happy. News articles perhaps around it. All this bullish mania. The next day we take out the high. But no, we reverse and we come down and we close at the lows. We close under the prior day's low. We've taken out the high. We've sucked all in people who have bought that breakout. We've sucked all in people who have bought this gap up. We've sucked in people who have bought this breakout from this resistance area here. No matter what it is, we've got people on board it and we've undone it. So we have confusion. We have people saying, hey, what's going on? This is a breakout. We closed the highs. It was all looking good. Now we've reversed. We've got confusion because we've got good news. Everything's looking fantastic. We broke, we, we gapped up, we pushed the highs and reversed. Ah, we're taking advantage of that confusion. This is really what it looks like on an intraday basis. If we were to look at a 15 minute chart, we'd see this. This coincides with this move here. So the first day, the gap up, I'm going to put a gap here, but you get the point. Good rally, good strong candlestick, green, good, solid, all the tick boxes that we've got for the bulls. Gaps up the next day. We can see this is our little gap here. Yes, great, it gaps up. Again, bullish, bullish, bullish. Pushes to highs, bullish, bullish, bullish. All of a sudden, wham, this is gonna be really, really steep as well. The steeper, the better. The quicker this happens, the better. This happens in the last hour. Boy, man, you are, I love this kind of thing because we're just changing this, the dynamics of everything. The point is, we've pushed up and we've reversed and then we take out that low. It's not the best drawing, but we've taken out that low, which was that low here. So if you see that two day pattern, pay attention because why do we pay attention? Because the chances of us going lower after that are pretty high in my experience. Do your own research, do your own checks. And again, no advice, all that kind of stuff. But it's something to look out for. Why? Because it's that instant change of supply demand or sentiment that we get that just confuses people, catches people out, 
Maybe it's some sort of trigger to that. Maybe some sort of other news that comes out, whatever it may be. The point is everybody's already in. It's just changed things so quickly that it catches people out that it offers us opportunities as trader. All right, guys, that's the two-day pattern. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet already, or at least consider doing so. Comments in the comment section below. Take care. Keep the risk managed. Bye-bye.